Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black YouTube channel for a match preview. This time we're talking about the game against Cardiff City, which is taking place tomorrow afternoon. Both teams go into the game with 100% records so far this season, so one of us is going to lose that record by the end of the day, or both of us perhaps if it's a draw. Although looking at the past six meetings, there hasn't been a draw between the two teams. So Cardiff have had a pretty good start to the season, although they've played three easier teams on paper. They beat Burton Albion in their first game, they then smashed Villa in a shock result 3-0 last week before beating Sheffield United earlier in the week. But as we looked at the fixture list back in June, this would have been the first game that we'd have highlighted as Wolves fans as a winnable fixture. Having already won the three games previous to this, going into this game with nine points, Wolves have to be made the favourites as well, particularly with home advantage. There's an awful lot of excitement around at the moment as well. Uh, from both the fans who have seen the two away performances and from the fans who have just seen the, the highlights and heard what the other fans have been talking about. It's certainly the most anticipated fixture I can remember for a long, long time. Just not because of the importance of it, but just because of the way that we're playing and people are actually excited and looking forward to seeing us play. I think we'll go into the game unchanged. I can see Brighton and Bakari's been given another chance again, although I don't think he impressed particularly on Tuesday night. He did set up the goal with a great little run and ball across to Jota, but I do think that Cavaliero is making a little bit of an impact when he comes on. A little bit less so against Hull on Tuesday night, but he did, certainly did against Derby. He did put the ball through for Dicko for his goal on Tuesday night as well. It will only be a matter of time before Cavaliero does start again. It will be interesting to see as well if Nuno sticks with Bonatini up front or whether he goes for Dicko as he grabbed a goal in midweek as well. Now the player that Wolves need to look out for the most I think is Kenneth Zahore who has been highly rated over the last year or so at Cardiff. So much so that Hull City are have launched bids this week to try and replace Abel Hernandez who got injured against us earlier in the weekend. He's going to be out for a long, long time with a ruptured uh, Achilles tendon. Cardiff have also got former Wolves boy Mendes Lang who only played a handful of games a few years ago as a youngster and has gone away and played for Peterborough and they, now he's been picked up by Cardiff and has impressed in his first couple of games for the Bluebirds. And of course, Cardiff have got pantomime villain or dame in Neil Warnock, who back in April was quite outspoken in the, his opinions on Wolves' uh, transfer, transfer spending and apparently has been looking forward to this fixture throughout the summer. Now the last time we played them was the last time that Cardiff conceded more than one goal in the game as well. It's going to be another tough test for our team but we've proved over the first three fixtures that defensively we're fairly sound. Uh, going forward as well we're starting to create a few more chances which was a problem against Middlesbrough. I hope that and I'm sure that they have over the last few days they've been working on set pieces because that was a major downfall against Hull. But I'm feeling quite confident and I'm hoping that we can grab an early goal just to settle any sort of nerves because I'm sure that Cardiff are going to come and put a lot of men behind the ball trying to stop us from playing a few heavy tackles perhaps in the first couple of minutes as well thank you very much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it drop a like if you did subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what changes would you make to the team or would you make any changes at all don't change your winning team do change your winning team keep it fresh lots of them are going to have a break in midweek anyway for the game against southampton where i imagine it's going to be a very very different team to the one that starts on saturday let me know and i'll see you next time Bye bye